take that off. Yeah, it's ready for it. And well, I did break it in with thicker oil, but that's it broken now. Yeah. After a couple of thousand miles. Motor. So, now we need to take wire off front starter motor, so don't forget to disconnect your battery, which I already have done. Which is around. I can't remember what talk settings were. But for about ten foot pound up the M8 and what have you, M10. Yeah. Need to get on and build that other engine. And then give that a little wiggle and it should pull out like so and checking that gasket there dang look at dirt on this you've probably neglected my bike Catherine so normally I'll start off here that one and then I'll do opposite if we can get in I don't think it so much matters on a small bike does it doing it in a pattern you know so you don't warp it Do 
grabbed that one. Gentle persuasion. There we go. Come on. Come on. Make sure that holding kick starting and there you go. Voila. Yep. Now that's burned, we'll put that old bug back in. There is the oil pump. That is your oil filter there. And this is the oil screen. Fucking no grabbing fat fingers. Actually, that's pretty clean. Normally there's way more shit on it than that. That's right. So you think you're looking in the mirror. So that doesn't really need much of a clean. Now oh, there's a frequency. The way of undoing these. You've got you start at the top. But one, two, three, four. Or anywhere like that, start with number. One, two, three, four. Flatten them off. We're only about eight to ten foot pound top. Flatten that off a bit. And we do opposite side. But I do need to get a new returning nut. Well, washer. At some point. Let me do this one. Now, you see that. Here's a way of curing that. You don't need no special tools. What you need is a rag. And what you do, whichever way you're going, if you're going that way, put it in the top. If you're going that way, put it in the bottom. See, a minute locks it, and that's all you need a rag. Don't need no fancy tools or shit like that. Right. You take them off. You slide them off. And this is what we want to change. <laughs> so there's your clutch plate. And I shall get another oily rag. Like that. We're going to replace that there. See, it's quite loose. That's your clutch push rod adjuster. What you do is you want to wind on your lever, wind your clutch all the way back in, you slacken that nut off, 
and when you turn that screw just so as it's, it's touching bearing ease it off a bit do that tighten that back up and then just adjust it back on your lever so but I don't know you've got a ball bearing in there and a clutch push rod There, there's a clutch push rod. Now I'm not sure if that ball bearing is going to fit. That's from my baby gun, but it looks a bit same size. But I don't know yet. Where's the new cap? I couldn't get the other fucking rod. But hard part is getting that bearing out and that other clutch push rod. As you can see, look how far in that is. Look how loose it is now. I don't know if it's cap or it's dodgy, but that's not adjusting all that much further. So, I'm actually new clutch push rod. Now, from AJS site, part number F28. 401000 dash 0. Now, in there, and when that slides in there, well, you've got to take all this off, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, and I would have done better. There was no way I can. And some people put a bear and stuff like that. But, Doing it this way, but needs most. There we go. Put that in there. Tighten that up. Oh, hey! Out of my tight. Bit too tight. Take that off and then Got that space up. That should come off. Wait. You got your clutch thrust better uh, wash it. And 
then. You've got that washer and this cog here. Now you have to be careful there, you see that keyway there. Make sure that's down because slide that out and notice which way it is because that'll slide off. And you see how you've got that tab going right down in there. If you can see it there, and then that goes over on that way like that. See that goes down into there like that. And then that slots down onto it, locks it in place. And that is your oil filter. People think that screen here is your oil filter. It's not, it's just your oil screen on pickup. Which will clean up on what I thought actually it was going to be. But while we're here, we'll give it a clean. See, now you've got your entry, I don't know if you can see it right, in there, and then you have one opposite side there, that's your exit. There's your entry somewhere there. there. So I'm just going to spray some brake cleaner in there and give it a bit of a clean out. Not bearings look to be fine. It's these tank bearings. It's them you've got to watch. And your oil pump, you've got a pin behind there. If that slides out, that'll look like it's still spinning, but it's not turning the oil pump. That's my mistake. I just saw that spinning. And I thought, oh, it's right. But I didn't know that pin had come out. So that was spinning, but it won't turn its shaft at pump. And that's what saved me engine. Twice. Because I am a knob. So, we've given that a bit of a clean. You see how that lug there, that there, slots in to the bottom. But do it that way, because that's wrong way, and it won't line up with pickup, because you've got a small oil in shaft. The oil goes through in here, down at the bottom of the shaft there, you'll see an oil. And the oil goes in there and then it comes up and then all over the place. So that ridge there facing front, not that way, but that way. Slide that on. And slide the keyway on, or woodruff key, whatever you want to call it. That goes there. I think. Yeah. And then that, you see how you've got a keyway there at the top, goes over it. Now if it won't go one way, just Turn your key around. And try it another way. It is slightly chamfered, so if it won't go one way, just spin it around and do it the other way, because there is a slight chamfer on it. Then you put your spacer back on. And then you look 
back on, and I think talk settings on these are around forty pounds or something like that. But I haven't got a tight on that up yet. Back on your clutch side, put your spacer on. Put your clutch basket back on. And it will go up, just need to jiggle it. Wash it. Put it up back on. doing it this way but I don't upgrade to so I just lock that in there don't go too mental with it the last thing you want is to break these off or bend them there you go. we'll just give us a bit of clean just some brake cleaner Tighten this up as well. So again at bottom. And I think these are about forty fifty. I don't know if it's newton meters or foot pound. I'll have a look. I'll see what I can find. There we go. Wind that back a bit. Now we start putting the clutch plates back on. Hey, now we'll put the clutch plate back on. There we go. Uh, 
Right, we'll put that on. Now. I don't know if you remember, we started off at this one, so that's going to be number one. Remember, I used the Allen head for this one. Go around, do it a few times. I don't turn it apart where just yet. Wrong one, I don't want that. I don't want that. Right, just do it a little bit. I'm happy with that. How that seated. Right, so that's number two. I'm not going to tighten them up fully just yet. I only want about. About 10 11 foot down. And I'm only tighten them till the stop. We're not fully tight yet. Number one. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, I'll show you how to do it. A decent rule of film, especially if it's something so low on poundage or newton meters, whatever. Put that in and then use your little finger. Well, depending how much of a girl you are, don't want to be all that much, not impressed with that, I'll right. we'll be getting a new one at some point, but it doesn't really need to be all that much, there you go, just about that, there you go, there you go, Need much because it won't take much to strip these out. How to adjust your clutch push rod. Just about when you clutch all the way back in. So, when your clutch adjusted in that lever, and then what you do. Oh, come on, you have to grab it. A little ten mil and a screwdriver. Fucking it off and then turn that little screw in the centre. Until you feel it against your clutch. And then just back it off like that. And then tighten that up. And then, if you look, now you see there. 
see that just there you've got like a little arrow and you line that up this aren't casing there so that should line up when you adjust it now there's something going wrong with mine better move that but you put some clutch in there you go and so there that's where my clutch my lever's about halfway now it's about halfway yeah and it's off but AGS's are like this anyway they always seem to bite right on end no matter what you do but that's getting a bit of now I'm going to measure that clutch push rod, but it should be the same size. Now. Can't remember it going in from uh, other side, and you're in because that's your input shaft. Oh, we shall see. That'll be for another day. But I'm just going to measure that because I've got another one at home with other engine. So I put all them bits in there. But yeah, that seems to be alright. I will take it for a test run. I might take you with me. Might nip over and see Josh actually. Although I've shown that right a few times, but there you go. is. Can we get there? Oh, all my handiwork falling to bits. That is a question. Right, so now what we're going to do is clean this old gasket off. And then I'm going to apply some black RTV. If it's focused on that or what. Just only black RTV. Black silicone. cut nozzle because I'm going to be putting it on with my finger so pop that need to go mental with it but you don't need a right thick because all it's going to do is spread everywhere and end up blocking could end up blocking your uh, channels your oil channel and you don't want that that oil getting round is very important
Oh, I smear it, but I'm ill fake. Put a thin snare on the edge of here so it keeps. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna lose pressure on your open fat. So that's how you proper a proper gasket comes without covering that. So I'll do the same. Otherwise, you might lose pressure from your oil pump. I don't know, so I'm not gonna risk it. So we'll put a thin smear on there as well. few minutes for it to start going off. Don't forget to put your guiding pins in. I mean I'm just gonna put this on loosely without smearing all seal everywhere. There you go. I'm not turning it up just yet. Because the RTB still needs to go off a bit. But I am slow gonna put nuts in loosely before talking it up to let it go off a bit. Amen. Fucking farmer fuck face is making a ratchet. Okay now. So I'm just gonna do them. I'm not I'm not doing them tight, just doing it up a bit. Cause I still want that RTB to go off a little bit. Right, so I waited a while and now we're going to talk it up. So we'll start off with this one. Not much, use my little finger. Oh. The opposite side. These bottom ones are a bit of a clap to get to. Little 
Kalinga. So, that's it. We'll put the kickstart back on. These are about, these are about 50 foot pounds. If you're looking there, you pull a, well, your front clutch uh, start, you've got an arrow, so you turn your front starter clutch to the arrows pointing in the middle, so you bang it in the middle there, there's arrow, see if I can show you. Well, just there, you've got an arrow about pointing roughly in the middle, and then you start a should technically just slot in, give it a bit of a wiggle, and then push it on. Don't really need to be all that tight. We're only about ten foot pounds, something like that, roughly, give or take, not much. Little finger, that's about it. Little finger. There you go. Well, that's about that. Just give it a, just an extra nip, just in case. 
not too much though, don't force it, or she'll strip it, and then you fall, well, not you just re tap it, but not advisable to do. And then, put your cable back on, like so. Now instead of paying AGS prices for Star Wars, I got that for 25 quid for a Yami YDR 125, but exactly the same. Now, I need to let that RTV go off. So, I've got that chance to go to Josh's today. A bit of a test run because that's still quite soft and I think that's going to take a few hours well I better rig box aren't I and we shall see what's a wash slacking anyway Let's put back the battery back on. <coughs> yep. But as mad as a box of frogs, right? Seven hundred and fifty mil. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a bit in. To see if we've got any leaks. Seems okay so far. Now, we're going to test the oil pump. I'll pump out, see if any oil comes out. There we go. So oil pumps are right. coming out obviously there's no oil coming out turn your bike off because there's something not right I'll just let it warm up a bit to allow the RTV to go off first bit of heat
to let that oil burn off a bit. There we go. And then we'll go for a test ride to go see Josh. Yeah.